Hey, good morning. Welcome to Blue Jacket Apiary. As you can tell, it's the season and we're out here on a gorgeous Friday morning. I'm going to take a look at uh, my sole surviving colony. Uh, I've been out a couple of times in the last week. I know I haven't made a video. Um, things have been kind of crazy between work and just life getting happening. Um, so I came out a few days ago. I put a queen excluder between the top and the bottom box because the queen had started laying into the top box, which I'm okay with, by the way, because that allowed the hive to really, really get big, um, which I'm thoroughly happy with. Um, but we're going to see what they look like today. I'm going to crack open the box and we're going to see if we can figure out whether the queen's in the top or the bottom. Because I looked through when I put the excluder on and I didn't see her. Uh, so we're going to see if we can figure that out today. So stay tuned. All right. So... Ah. Let's see what we look like if we pull a few frames. All right, so uh, they're a little perturbed to say the least, but I'm not shocked. You know, they don't like me being in here, so.
a split easier to do but um i don't know let's pull some frames and see what we see all right so let's pull this one out and we'll take a peek this one is sort of indicative of the rest of the uh, frames that i've pulled out as you can see we got some
Um, it's another decent frame. That's a lot of drone. Holy cow. This is, uh, I got a couple of, I'm gonna have to take a peek through those. Give me a second here. All right, so I meant to take you along, um, but things got kind of hairy really quick. So let me fill you in. Um, I opened up both boxes and between 20 frames, I maybe had five or six that were nothing but drone, nothing but. Uh, between 20 frames, I maybe had, hey, get away, maybe one or one, one and a half possibly that was uh, brewed. And I don't think uh, any of that brood had been laid in the last three or four days because it was all capped. Now, I did see some larvae that had not been capped. They were all less than maybe four or five days old. Um, and it worried me that I had all of that brood and or all of that drone and so little uh, brood. So I took a calculated risk and I did a split. I didn't want to do it. Um, I'm slowly but surely learning more and more and more because quite frankly, I don't have a mentor. The nearest club to me is a half hour, 40 minutes away. I've been to one to their, one of their meetings and they didn't really seem all that interested in having a new guy that had a lot of questions. So I never went back quite frankly. Um, so if you're watching this and you're in a bee club, take notes. Um, the new people are just as uncomfortable to be there as you are having them quite frankly. And it's not my job to uh, know all of the questions because I don't know what I don't know. It's your job to make me feel welcome. It's your job to make me feel like every question I ask is a good one and everyone deserves an answer. Um, and just because it's not the way you might do it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a wrong way or the right way, quite frankly, because if you ask 100 beekeepers a question, you'll get 105 answers. Uh, there, I'm going to get off my soapbox about bee clubs for a second. So having said all of that, I'm learning as I go and I am going to make a ton of mistakes. And um, I have learned in the last couple of years how to kill bees, um, to put it quite bluntly. Um, I lost a hive my first winter and I lost four of them the second winter. There were a couple of things I did last year that I think led to the demise of a couple of them. Um, and I'm going to try to fix them this year with the colony that I have, hopefully the colonies that I will have. Um, I'm trying to get better, but again, with no club in my area and no mentor to talk to, to have swing by and say, Hey, what is this? What does all this mean? I'm having to learn and I'm having to learn by mistakes. And I don't like that. I do not like that at all. I would much rather have somebody explain to me what that means what all of this says, but I don't have that luxury. So I'm not crying. I'm not whining. I'm just saying that's, that's where I'm at. So with all of that drone and so little, um, female brood, I decided one that both boxes had about six or seven frames of bees. They were full and there's a couple of new queen cells. So I'm a bit about five. They're all dry. Not a one of them has anything in it. Thank goodness. Um, so that means that for the next three days, I'm going to have to be out here almost every day to look at both of these hives because I look for my queen. I did not find her. Um, that makes me a little nervous. I'm generally not worried about finding the queen so long as I find brood. In this case, I've got a whole lot of drone, like I've said, um, more than I've had in years past. And so I'm wondering if my queen died or something happened and I'm in a laying worker situation or I, I don't, I don't know. I don't have any idea what's going on. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on both of these hives for the next three or four days. Uh, and see if well, I'm going to have to give 
the capped over brood that's in both of them a chance to break out and see what happens. So I could probably come back in 30 minutes and listen to both hives and tell if one is queenless because it doesn't take very long for them to know. Um, and the tone of the hive radically changes when they are queenless. Um, it, you know, in a queen ride hive, when things are great, it's a nice gentle hum. When things aren't great and they're queenless, it turns almost into a roar and we'll see we'll see what happens so i hope i didn't kill two hives today doing what i did but i had to make a calculated decision based on what i saw and what i know and hope that well i had to hope that things work out and we'll see so again i'm sorry i didn't get to uh you know take you along but this was a last minute decision. My, my intention was to just pull some frames, take you along, show you what they, sh what they are, what they say, what I see. But as I started looking at frames and saw all of that drone brood, I just got a little nervous and a little worried. So I made a, a calculated decision, decided to take a risk and we'll see if it pans out or not. Um, luckily it's, you know, we're near the end of May or April, excuse me. Uh, in my area, the flow generally doesn't start till the end of May, first part of June. So if they make a queen today, then the queen will be out and ready to lay by the time the flow is in full effect. Um, we'll see. So thanks for coming along on this journey. Uh, watch me make mistakes. Uh, if you're a beekeeper and you're watching this and you're saying, man, that dude's an amateur, you're right, I am. This is only year three for me, so I'll get it right at some point. So until next time, be kind. <laughs>